So last week I met the Hall family who learned about how they can reduce their family's carbon footprint. And what we learned is one of the easiest and most tangible things that you can do is reduce your food waste. So I've come here today to get some help with my shopping. Liam is from the environmental charity Hubbub and works to reduce people's food waste. He's going to show me how I can do the same. The average UK family wastes about £730 a year of food straight into the bin. Um, if you plan your meals that you're going to have for the week, it means that you only buy food that you need and it means your food will stretch further. Um, most people avoid it because it can be a bit boring, but if you make it fun, involve the family, think about foods that you'd look forward to eating, then you know that actually that's fine, I know exactly what I'm having and when. So what would be your top tips for reducing food waste? So if you're shopping, um, I would say only buy the things that you need. Look around, you might be tempted to buy a two for one or a three for two deal, but if you're not actually going to eat it, stick to your list. Fridges should be between three and five degrees and a lot of fridges are slightly too warm and it means that your food will go off sooner. You can buy Tupperware, you can seal, seal your food to keep it fresh for longer. So if you've opened bacon on a Monday, by Friday it's gone. Um, and you know, use your freezer. There's lots of ways that you can just stop that food from even touching the bin. So yeah, what kind of choices should I be making in this aisle? Then? Now to put the theory into practice. The average UK household wastes around £60 worth of food a month. At least one third of all food produced globally is never eaten. And every year, wasted food in the UK represents 14 million tonnes of carbon dioxide emissions. That's the same as those created by 7 million cars. And avoiding food waste isn't just about the individual. The Cate's community fridge in Cardiff was set up in 2018. It takes excess food from local shops and cafes for others to collect for free. I think for this area and like having something like a community fridge is really important and I think it is having a pretty good impact. Um, especially being at the cafe, um, we get to see or get to know some of the users of the community fridge and they also become people that come to the cafe and we're able to give them free food, free drinks and really just take care of them and make sure they have access to good quality food and without that being, uh, without it being a cost barrier. So whether you want to be part of a community project or you want to cut down on your waste at home, simple tips like planning your meals and making a shopping list can help stop those impulse buys, meaning you waste less food and less money.